Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloveds. I will, everyone is chilling and enjoying their Saturn day. All is blissed here in North Carolina. For anyone who may be new, welcome. My name is Q, as I said. I'm an empath and intuitive. I am clairaudient, so I do incorporate music into my readings. Right now, we have Ramp singing and they are um the name of this song excuse me is called um everybody loves the sunshine so for some of you all i feel like you all are enjoying a lot of happiness in your lives i feel like you all are getting rid of anything that brings darkness gloom that brings stress and aggravation into your lives i feel like many of you have started to find peace during your solar returns and even leading up to your solar returns, I do feel like there was a sense of you all taking your power back, standing in your power, owning your power, also realizing that you are powerful. And the beautiful thing about that is you're now attracting everything you desire, you're attracting a lot of things to you. Look at this, laws of attraction here as I'm saying it. So many of you all are and have been manifesting newness into your lives. A lot of newness because I feel like there was this completion of a cycle. It's no, it's not new news that Scorpios have been going through, you know, a shadow period, going through that dark night of the soul period in their lives. And many of you have successfully graduated on to the next phase and stages of your lives. And so I feel like that's why I'm feeling a sense of newness, a, a sense of happiness, joy. With everybody loves the sunshine, I definitely feel like you all are elated. Like there's a sense of clarity. Like you, you almost feel like you have been reborn. You know, there's a rebirth of some sort. There's been a sense of like you kind of transforming, going through a startling metamorphosis or going through a cocooning stage only to, you know, transform into that beautiful blossoming butterfly i feel like a lot of your hard work and effort has been acknowledged by your spirit team angels guide the universe and i feel like that's why there's this attraction now to you because you've completed something you've ended something and i feel like you ended it with integrity with dignity um you ended it in a sense of um, being very respectful towards yourself and also to those who may have tried to like dim your light, you know, because with everybody loves the sunshine, I feel like you were, you know, not only attracting good things to you, but you were also, you know, dealing with a lot of negativity, a lot of jealousy and maybe envy, a lot of people who were deceitful uh, that were in your surroundings and in your inner circles people that you may have you know gave them the badge of honor of calling them a friend you know calling them your sister and your brethren um i feel like even your family you know you had to learn some really tough lessons you had to do some real soul work but you've come out on the other side and um that dark night of the soul journey was very invigorating for you uh because it it taught you um, who you actually were. I feel like you were wearing a mask for a while and now you're no longer wearing that mask because the illusion that you were a part of started to dismantle. So that's just what I'm picking up for you all. I definitely feel like with Everybody Loves the Sunshine, something beautiful is happening in your lives. Is It's about to transform in a way that I feel you wouldn't even suspect. Um, it's better than you could even imagine is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Uh, right now we have Art Blakely and the Jazz Messengers and it says it's a long way down. So I feel like you all are going to be like floating. I'm hearing like you on cloud nine and it's going to be a long way down. You know, a lot of people use the term, uh, you know, falling in love. And that's what I'm getting a sense of when I hear it's a long way down because many of you are going to fall in love. Um, but I think the appropriate term for many of you all, because you're coming into a spiritual union. So I feel like the appropriate term is you all are going to rise, rise in love because when you fall in love, it's going to lead to a long way down. So you don't want to fall in love. You don't want to be kind of like floating uh, in this illusion. You want to kind of rise. 
you know, with with the the with the person, you know, that you are coming into union with. You want this connection to just gradually just grow and build. Um, so I do feel like this you the two of you are gonna rise in love opposed to falling in love. I don't know where that came from, but that's what I'm picking up. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to pick up the energy. Before we do, I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, send masters, all of the Orishas, the ancestors, deities. I call upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I ask Universe Source, the Divine Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light as I pick up the energy and intuition or intuitive messages. And so it is, so mo it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Before I delve any deeper, if any one of you are new, I do welcome you all to the channel. I hope you stay a while, and if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. This will be a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. You are more than just your sun sign, so check your other placements, such as your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, check your other placements if you would like to have more detail, um, if this message does not resonate for you. Uh, this will also be a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that is a, the exact and divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. Now, I feel myself getting tongue-tied. So I don't know why I feel this this sense of blockage. I won't be surprised if my throat sh starts to block or if I start um, coughing because I'm sensing that somebody's trying to kind of like block your conversation or block something. And I'm going to drink a little bit of water. Hold on one moment, please. Thank you. It's a long way down. So with this song, I'm definitely picking up like somebody had some sort of karma. I feel like somebody definitely fell from their grace. You know, it's like a fall from grace. So whoever this is that's trying to block your blessings. And they could be trying to like spread rumors, spread lies, trying to sm run a smear campaign on you. But I feel like nobody believes them. It's almost like we don't believe you. You need more people because it's like... Maybe the people they're going to and spreading these lies and the gossip um, about you two have also experienced them being fake and fugazi with them or being deceitful or deceptive with them. See that? You, this is like energy vampire, incubus succubus. You know, and this is somebody and this is someone that you absolutely ended something with because it says done, done, fin. So you definitely with that karmic ending that I was just picking up initially, this is someone that you cut the soul ties with. And, and, and I'm telling you, like Scorpios, this person is having a very difficult time letting you go. And it's because I'm hearing outsmarted. You outsmarted someone who thought they were more smarter. They thought they were smarter than they were. And I feel like what happened was... This individual was such a gaslighter and they were so deceptive all the time. They wore fake masks or they wore a mask and they was like a fake individual that they was able to dupe and bamboozle people a lot. And I feel like they even bamboozled you with a lot of lies and delusion. Um, I feel like you were really in deep with this person. It's like, and I'm hearing waist deep, like you was in it. Like you, you thought that this was your person. You thought this was the person you were going to marry. Thought this was the person you was going to be with forever, ever, ever. And it was just like, once something came to light, because remember, everybody loves the sunshine. So I feel like something came to light. There was a moment of truth, moment of clarity, and you was able to see this person. Because I feel like they were there was some distortion in your perception of this individual. And it's because they knew how to play on your emotional strings. They know how to like sweet talk you, tell you what you want to hear, just to keep you stringing along, breadcrumb you to keep you interested, things like that. So they did that for a long time. And I feel like it lasted for 
a while. Like they were able to do this for so long. And so they kind of got a little um, messy. You know what I'm saying? They kind of got messy with it. So they weren't really, you know, making sure to, to dot their I's and cross their T's so as to keep the illusion going. And I feel like as you started to work on yourself, as you started to heal, as you started to grow and evolve um, and make those necessary changes within yourselves, I feel like that's how you were able to pick up the fact that this individual was a fraud. Um, right now we have... Uh, Diamond D and this is called best kept secret so see this person was definitely keeping a lot of secrets a lot of lies they was distorting the truth with you and I feel like for a long time they was getting away with this until one day it was like everybody loves the sunshine that moment of truth that moment of clarity so whatever that secret was that they was keeping from you I feel like that was like the straw that broke the camel's back and that's when you were able to break free and cut the soul ties from this individual. Um, I feel like the divine, your ancestors, angels, guides were definitely giving you signs, synchronicities, uh, and this was how you was able to, you know, discover some things that was like shocking, you know. So we're gonna pick up the energy. Someone is absolutely um, attracting, you know, a new love. I feel like y'all have a secret admirer and this person also has difficulty expressing themselves. Um, I feel like when someone admires you secretly, it's because either they're in a relationship, in a partnership, or maybe this is someone that you may have some sort of connection with or history with, uh, and things may have kind of like fizzled or maybe something ended abruptly, or maybe the two of you had some sort of um, disagreement and you kind of just kind of parted ways, uh, and maybe this person is now discovering they have these feelings, or maybe this is someone with whom you do not know at all, um, and they just don't know how to formulate the words to express these feelings that they don't understand or understand. And so maybe they're taking some time to, you know, kind of watch you um, to kind of get a little more familiar uh, in, you know, how to approach you. Uh, because I feel like there's a sense of, you know, blocking their throat chakra, like not communicating uh, something that they really truly wish to do. And with this best kept secret by Diamond D, I feel like they feel you're like the diamond in the rough. Like, you know, you they've watched you literally transform, go through a lot of, 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 you know, difficulties. You know, they've watched you. They've been watching you. So I am sensing this is someone you know. Um, this could be a friend. Um, this could be somebody that you actually may, you know, confide in. And you just don't know that they have these deep-rooted secrets because this is called best kept secret. So maybe they feel it's best to keep this secret because they don't want to taint the friendship or they don't want to taint um, the connection that they feel the two of you have. Or maybe they feel like they don't know how you will um, receive them, you know. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. So look at that. Praying on your downfall. Watch them. So I was picking up on somebody who was definitely a hater. Um, somebody who was like really see that so look at this we got drake now started from the bottom so this person definitely is hating on you because you you started from the bottom but now you on top now you're rising i'm hearing keep rising to the top and i feel like y'all are like you've risen you know there's been a sense of ascension this person has given you a lot of mixed signals in the past i feel like this is someone who definitely thought that they was going to be able to keep the you know that wool over your eyes forever um and i feel like this person's really uh upset because it's like now they're seeing you transform they're seeing you grow they're seeing you kind of evolve into this very um self-confident uh strong-willed um you know person you know this this divine feminine or divine masculine and this person like i said when someone's preying on your downfall they're obviously watching you so this person's stalking um they're keeping tabs on you by some means i don't know uh if you all have like other social media um outlets like a tiktok or youtube or, you know um you know maybe you have a twitter or or Facebook or whatever the hell you got but somebody's definitely keeping tabs and I feel like this individual um, is really like salty 
you know, this person's jealous because they've watched you have some level of success or they've watched you kind of like break free from their grip. Um, this is that parasite. This is that incubus succubus energy, that energy vampire that no longer can affect you because you've set boundaries um, and because you've also set your standards higher. So you're not even entertaining them. You're not even giving them the time of day. You're not even like you, you've got them blocked. You've literally blocked them out of your energy. And I feel like that's why I was picking up somebody like going around, you know, with these smear campaigns and these attempts to defame your character, to talk ill of you to anybody who would listen, because it's almost like they're jealous of the fact that, you know, maybe when the two of you were together, they, um, you know, maybe you, the two of you were kind of like, <clears throat> you know, kind of struggling together. And now they're watching you um, single and you're kind of doing a lot better. Um, without them, you're doing better without them than you were with them. In other, in in other words, so it's like they're preying on your downfall because it's like they they're looking at you like you know, what the hell are you doing? You know, like how are you able to have the success? How are you so confident? Like who is somebody in your life? You got somebody new? What's going on? You know, and I feel like this person missed an opportunity because they was playing a lot of games. And and as I said with this mixed signals, this is somebody who definitely was kind of like breadcrumbing. You know, like they would tell you things, uh, but then their actions would show you something different. And right now we have Nas and it's called Live Now. So I feel like, you know, this person um, absolutely was speaking out of both sides of their mouth. And it was like because they were trying to... Um, they were trying to have like this double life. It was almost like they was really uh, living a double life. And so they was trying to keep everybody satisfied. And it's like, you know, a player was is, is only going to be able to give you but so much time. And that's why it says mixed signals, because it's like maybe they were making promises. And then when the time and day comes for them to do X, Y, and Z, you don't hear from them. And then when, you know, you kind of like make peace with the fact that they're gone or they ghosted you, then they pop up on the grid again. And so then you get lured back into the trap. And I feel like, you know, you all said, nah, I'm done. You know, I'm going to live now. I'm not going to let somebody live vicariously through me anymore or steal my energy or steal my joy and happiness and my overall peace. You cut that shit off. And now this person's really frustrated because they see that now you're living you know, your best life. You're living now. Like you're not just surviving anymore as you was with this person. It's like now you're living. You're living your truth. You're living in your power. You're living your dreams. Some of you all, you know, return back to some of the dreams and aspirations, started to hone your skills, your gifts, your talents, and you're starting to recognize like, damn, I'm pretty dope at this shit. And, and the more that you you know, the more time and energy you put into it, you're noticing like your skill set is progressing. And I feel like this person was definitely, you know, kind of blocking you from, you know, achieving some level of success because they didn't want you to to grow. They didn't want you to evolve. They didn't want you to come into your power because I feel like they were benefiting from you being um, powerless. And so now this person's jealous and trying to strategize and trying to plot and scheme and plan and, you know, tried to conjure up some some way to to bring you down off your high horse they looking at you like you prancing around in front of them showboating but it's not that at all i feel like scorpios y'all are truly humble but to them because they're in this secret competition with you it's like they're mad they're angry you know they have this angst this disdain and they're trying to figure out how to to take you off your square and i feel like you know the divine is giving you going to give you some sort of like divine intervention or you're going to receive some sort of like uh download or some sort of um transmission uh impertinence to this person um because like this person is definitely coming back with the same old tactics because you know that's what they do they use the same tactics they don't they don't they don't know how to like step their game up you know they'll do the same thing look at this praying on your downfall because like you all this is like the umpteenth time this you will be a millionaire in your family the first millionaire in your family and this person to see that's why i was picking up high horse so this person feels like you're on your high horse and you like it's like you came up after you cut ties with them and that's very telling of how much they were blocking your blessings, how much they was dimming your actual, you know, your light. You know, remember, everybody loves the sunshine, but this person obviously didn't. 
They didn't like your light. They didn't like you shining. They didn't like you, you know, being radiant. They didn't like that. They loved bringing you down because as long as you had, you know, low self-esteem or as long as you were sad and depressed and worrying and stressing over them, concerned with them, listening and thinking about them, then they could like steal your energy. That incubus, that succubus energy is an energy vampire. So they will leech on, steal all of your energy. They get revitalized while you're, you know, sitting there feeling completely, um, you know, completely, uh, um, how do you say, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? depleted thank you spirit so so you was done with that shit you know this person's really feeling frustrated because it's almost like you know when you you know how when somebody treats you like shit and then y'all break up and then you fuck around and blow up right afterwards and then they like sitting there kicking themselves that's what this person is doing they sitting here literally watching you have some level of success you're like the first millionaire in your family so all the work all the effort that's why i was picking up like some of y'all return back to your dreams turn return back to some of those skill sets those talents those those gifts that you all were kind of like just repressing and and suppressing and you know not and you know not in um indulging in them because you had this old naysaying hating ass person on the side it's like and, and plus they were depleting your energy so a lot of you didn't even have the energy to even do it and so as soon as they left it's like you returned back to yourself it's like you got back to the self you got back to who you were back to what you enjoyed and now it's almost like you're being rewarded there's some level of success some level of abundance some level of opulence some expansion here so this person is seeing that because obviously they're stalking, you know, and this person is like jealous, they're envious, they're like hateful. It's like I'm hearing mad dog. It's like they're a mad dog and you got to put a mad dog down. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and they feel, they feel this shit. And, and that's why we was hearing like. Um, long way down because it's like it's like somebody had a fall from grace it's like you know they have they're having a fall from grace you know because I feel like they're in such dark energy you know that they they can't rise until they get out of this 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 um, negative um, this negative energy right now we have the secret garden um, and this is by Quincy Jones and this is featuring um, I'll be sure and so many um, different artists, but the secret garden. So that's what you all were doing. You all were secretly planting new seeds, planting, you know, um, you know, the seeds that you were planting are now starting to blossom. They're starting to to grow and harvest fruit for you. And that's another reason why there's this this um, sense of reward um, and great fortune that's coming in for you all because the divine has taken notice of the work that you have been putting forth to, you know, accomplish your dreams, you know, to to have this level of happiness and peace, to heal yourselves from the traumas that you experienced with these old hate and ass people that you dearly loved and that you would would have and did everything for and so these individuals like they don't realize you know what you put out into the universe you're going to get back so what you wishing and praying for somebody else trust and believe there's a boomerang effect and so how you're speaking into the universe the the ill that you're speaking of others is what you are going to to meet so it's like they're they're speaking these old self you know these these um it's like you know i feel like they were speaking these old um, like like negative things about you, but it's almost like whatever they're they're say, they're sending to you is being returned to them. It's like they're they're going to receive it. Um, it's like you know return to sender. Hold on one moment. So yeah, you gotta watch this person. But you're done. You're done. Done. You know what I'm saying? You already know. You know what you will not put up with anymore you work too hard and it's like you're reaping what you sow literally because with the secret garden you were secretly planting these seeds roots and um you're now you know what did i say this person's crazy and deranged you know this person definitely and that's why the divine is like giving you this caution because i feel like this person is literally um conjuring up some shit right now you know it's they're conjuring something up you know they're they're trying to figure out something and I feel like they're not alone doing this. They could have a couple of people, you know, kind of spying, you know, like cyber stalking you, um, watching your page, your page. This person's obsessed. They're obsessed. I'm hearing they're obsessed. They're definitely possessive. 
and then they're depressed so it's like that's why they're deflecting that's why they're projecting you know their issues onto you because the shit they did is the reason why you had to block their ass and cut them off you know so look at this earth angel this is what you've been to this person this is who you are you know you've been very caring to this person you've been very supportive you've definitely protected them you know when they didn't even know any better you was really pr protecting them because i feel like a lot of you all were praying over this person because they made a lot of foolish and and um childish decisions and i feel like for the for them it was like you was their their peace you know you you brought a lot of peace into their world and i feel like since you have departed their lives you know they are now like having some sort of fall from grace and it's because they was riding your coattail it's because you were this earth angel all along and this person now is in their fields because they're upset that somebody else is going to you know get you remember we had diamond d so it's like they see you as that diamond in the rough that rare breed it's like you're a rare find and when you don't appreciate what you have you miss it when it's gone and this person definitely is recognizing that you was someone that was very caring, very loving, that you are very spiritual, that you are, you know, like a, uh, that you are very powerful in your ability to manifest, to create, to co-create. It's almost as if this person has heard you speak things and watched you manifest things into this physical reality. And with this praying on your downfall, it's like they want to watch you now have some sort of fall from grace. Because it's almost like I said, they feel like you're on this high horse. But it's like you just don't have no time for the bullshit. You ain't going to waste your energy and time on no bullshit, on no negative ass people. And this individual is taking it very um, personally. But they don't understand the concept because they've never done this work. They don't understand the importance of protecting your energy because they just got any old body around them. If you're an energy vampire, then you hanging around nothing but slithering ass snakes. You ain't got no real ones around you. And that's why they looking at you like you was rare. You was always that one that when they called you, even if they did you dirty, if they was to call you and say, look, I'm going through a tough time, they knew that you wouldn't hold it against them. You wouldn't be vindictive and cold-blooded and just be evil because of what they did to you. Because you're compassionate. Because you're empathic. And now they're realizing whatever the hell they're surrounded by is definitely not you. It's not, what, it's not you. They're not you. They can't hold a candlestick to you. So this person is becoming more obsessive and more possessive over you now that they don't have you anymore. It's like when they had you, they didn't give you the time of day. And now that they don't have you, all they do is stalk your page all day long. All they do is watch your videos. If you post YouTube videos, if you have a YouTube channel or a TikTok, all they do all day is got your shit on rerun. I'm serious. They be having a fucking like a watch party on your shit. <laughs> like literally. And they're feeling this energy because you've blocked them like you what did i say about y'all blocking this energy like you like i don't fuck with you i'm not fucking with nothing that that that's fugazi that's that got this old negative energy this low energy low vibration you ain't fucking with nothing that does not bring you love and light you don't have the time you ain't got that type of time and that's what's growing this person even more angry they're growing even more deranged, even more crazy about you. And I feel like for many of you, you had to go seek higher knowledge in order to break free from this crazy shit. Because for a lot of you, like I said, y'all was mind fucked for a long time. That's deception. When somebody's gaslighting you for years, it takes years for you to unlearn all of that bullshit they was like feeding you. And now you got your God up, beloved. Like you are not letting nothing in that don't sit right in your spirit. Just like this motherfucker could sniff out that you got money, that you coming up, that you doing your thing, that you've changed and all, You can sniff out the fact that this motherfucker is just like straight up negative. A Debbie Downer. A lying ass Larry. A negative Nancy. Whatever you want to call it. 
This is somebody who has, you know, like a spiritual transmitted disease. This person is so low vibrational that you don't want no parts of that shit. You ain't letting none of that negative shit into your life. Like I said in the beginning, you have seen the light. <laughs> you ain't letting nobody come in and dim that shit again. Because you've worked your ass off to get to this place where you are now in your power. And right now we have a little brother playing the way you do it. So this person loves the way you do you now. They love the way you are. This is the heart of the matter. Earth angel. So they love the way that you have transformed. They love the way that you are still, you know what I'm saying? Like you're still, I feel like you all are still in some way, shape, form, or fashion, like cordial with them. You know, you still speak to them. Like you, 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 because when you know your worth and value and when you cut yourself free from something, it's like, I feel like Scorpio's, you know, regardless of whether this person gave you the closure that you needed or, you know, came to you. If they didn't do that, I feel like you just accepted the apology that you never received. And that is the most powerful stance that you could ever take when dealing with somebody who could potentially be a narcissist or somebody who is just toxic overall. And I feel like that's something that they can see, which is why they feel you're an earth angel, because nobody else that they've ever dealt with still speaks to them i feel like they've burned a lot of bridges that they've cut a lot of um you know they've cut themselves off from a lot not even they cut themselves off i feel like their actions have cut them you know you know from having a lot of of um like healthy relationships it's like they have like self-sabotaged and you're the only one you know you're the only one that they know has not like completely disregarded them. Like if they were to message you, you'd send your pieces. You know, like you'd send peace and love and light, just like you would anybody else. Because you don't you don't wish this person any harm and you don't want to see them hurt. You just don't have it in your spirit to want to see somebody do bad or to see somebody hurting. That's not who you are. You're very empathic. You feel this person's pain. It's almost as if you know that this person is a product of their environment. And maybe you have some intel on their childhood and how they grew up. And maybe they grew up with an absentee parent or no father and no mother in the home. Maybe they grew up with a toxic dynamic with their mother or their father. And so you understand their pain and you understand that they never did the work, which is why they're showing up as this childish, you know, self-deprecating person or individual. But you also know at the same time that you have to protect yourself, beloved. That you have to block that shit out from interfering you. Interfering with your peace, with your happiness, with your blessings. And that's why you're setting these boundaries, these boundaries and you have your guard up with this individual. Because you don't want to see them hurt. You know that they are slowly unraveling, you know. Like they're, they're unraveling here. Because it's like, why are they praying on your downfall if they still, if they feel that you're an earth angel? Like, who prays on an earth angel's downfall? And that's how you know there's a lot of projection and there's a lot of deflecting from the problem. And until they do the work, they're going to always be feeling crazy and deranged. And the divine is telling you caution because they don't want you to fall into the trap of trying to save a hoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be super saver, ho. I'm sorry. People got to learn their karma. That's the best thing you can do is step to the side and let karma hit their ass. And right now, we got yellow man, and this is called Lost, called Lost Me Love, and it is 444 on the clock. So look at that, 444, Lost Me Love. So you definitely listen to your ancestors and your angels and your spirit team when they tell you to use intuition, use your discernment, and to definitely don't fall into no traps that somebody's trying to set for you. You are wiser than that. And I feel like you are, you know, you definitely, you know, got your guard up because we see this blocker, I don't fuck with you. So you're already on your, I don't fuck with you. Um, you want you in your bag. So you're not going to just let anybody come in and be playing these stupid ass games anyway, anyhow. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages from the Energy Oracle deck. On the bottom of the deck, look at that. We got contract. So what did I say? Somebody's receiving karma. This is karma dharma. What you put out in the universe, you're going to get back tenfold. In my 
in my perspective, I feel like you're gonna get it back. Period. You're gonna get it back infinitely. Like until you learn the lesson, you're gonna get it back. And I feel like this person has not learned a goddamn thing because they praying on your downfall still. And when they had your ass, what was they doing? Praying on your downfall because they was gaslighting, lying, deceiving, cheating. That's somebody who don't have your greatest good in, in, in mind at all. But I feel like even with this type of energy working against you, you know what I'm saying? You still rose like the phoenix from the ashes. You still was working and mastering your craft. You still showed your ass, Scorpios. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep a good woman, good man down. I don't know what this motherfucker thought they was doing or who they thought they was fucking with. But a Scorpio is going to show your ass like you don't ever sleep on us. You know what I'm saying? When you sleep on us, that's the cousin of death. And we are the death. We rule death. We rule transformation. We rule rebirth. We rule reinventing ourselves. That's what we do, beloved. So when you were sitting there thinking that you were smarter than you was. And you could have got a couple of little dollars. You know, because we was sleep, We was in a deep sleep. We was comatose. You know, a lot of us was like, you know, in lust, in love. We thought we was in love, but it was lust. Or we thought we was in a relationship, but it was an illusion. And it's all good because you woke up. You woke up to who you are. You woke up to your power. You woke up to your birthright, which was to, you know, be that divine feminine and masculine. To be treated as such. And not to be treated like you was just some da dun da dun some bird, you know. So this person now is like, I lost me love. I lost me love. They sitting here like singing they coulda, shoulda, woulda songs now. Because now they realizing how precious you were. You're their precious. What did I say about them feeling like obsessive and possessive over you? You are my precious, you know. So this person now is like, damn, I lost my love. And this is why. Because you done had some sort of epiphany with this door to spirit. I feel like your angels, ancestors definitely were giving you some downloads. This 32 breaks down to 5. So this is about you starting to like express your truth. You found your, express, your, your creative expression, your artistic expression. And I feel like it kind of freed you. It also gave you this rebirth. You know, this bird represents rebirth. It kind of sparked something in you. Passion, desire, fire, you know? And I feel like this door opening up is like spirit opening you up, opening you up to opportunities and opening you up to to newness, to just growth. And I feel that your angels and guides also opened you up to your powers. You know, because many of you, like I said, maybe some of you all, you know, you started to discover what those powers were. You started to discover that you were in fact a healer. Because you had to heal yourselves. So some of the things you was doing to, you know, implement the, 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 the healing on yourselves, it, it, it really was working. You know, you started to notice the change in yourself. Sort of you, some of you, you know, definitely are going through a, dis, a divorce, a dissolution of a marriage, a separation. I feel there's good karma coming in for you all because you were right and just. Look at that. Good karma is coming in. Look at the sun. Sun is shining on you. Remember, everybody loves the sunshine. I feel like not only do you have a beautiful, positive new beginning and start, but I also feel like there's a lot of happiness, a lot of optimism now. You've gotten, you know, your, your power back. You regain some sense of, like, strength from this situation. It's like, what doesn't kill you makes you strong. And I realize, I feel like you realize just how strong you were all the time. You just had to know that. And I feel like, you know, you also realize, like, you can never submit your will to another person, especially somebody who's going to be, you know, um, irresponsible with that, 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 um, with that power you give them. You know, a woman makes a man feel empowered by just simply standing by their side. And a man feels, you know, gives a woman a sense of protection just by being there to be supportive. But you don't ever want to abuse that power. And I feel like for many of you all, you've learned to like balance yourselves emotionally. Maybe you put too much into this connection. You was all in head first and you didn't even, you know, get the time or take the time to, to hold this person accountable or to see if they will, you know, to show and prove. And so I feel like for many of you all, you, you, you really 
were out of con- you know out of emotional equilibrium but now you've learned to kind of balance the scales a lot more you know you've gained some some clarity on the situation right now we have weather report and this is called and then and so i feel like and then you change and then you healed this water, you know, that she's in, basking in this water, that's a very healing element. It's also your element. So she's learning to, you know, bring some sense of emotional balance, strength. I also see there's a child there. So many of you just really focused on the most important things in your life, which would take your attention away from something that was distracting you from your happiness and your overall peace. I also feel there was like this wake up call. You know, I see this horn. So you woke you woke up to the truth of this situation. You know, you woke up to the truth. And you woke up to the fact that this person definitely, um, you know, this wasn't love. You know, love doesn't hurt. Love isn't abusive verbally, mentally, emotionally, physically. Love doesn't lie. Love doesn't cheat. Love doesn't gaslight. You started to realize that. You started to speak to yourselves during those moments of clarity. Look at this. This pause person was causing a lot of confusion. This is the, like the eight of swords energy. Has you all up in your head. Why? Because they're sitting here manipulating shit. You know? This is also like saying there was self-deception. But there was also someone deceiving you. Taking you for granted. Manipulating you. This, 50, this 25 reduces to 7. So I feel like this is like devil energy. 7 deadly sins. So this person was very greedy, very gluttonous. This is a very angry person. Because like I said, crazy, deranged. That red speaks to like, you know, they're having this fire, this angst, this, this frustration. And with this crazy and deranged, they definitely watch and stalk. And I feel like they're growing more angry the more they watch you come into your... You know, some level of success or great fortune or abundance. It's like they're growing more and more angry. And they're trying to figure out a way to trick you, you know. And it's like they have this little light, this little light bulb that goes off. And they're trying to find a window to come in because they're preying on your downfall. This is what this person is doing. They're watching you, you know, and they see you as the light because you are shining. And I feel like they're coming in to try to cause confusion with this Eight of Swords here. And so right now we got Lucy Pearl. And this is called Without You. So this person's growing more and more frustrated without you. And that's why they're preying on your downfall. Because they don't want you to be with someone else. And they also frustrated because they see you got this door to value. So there's opulence, abundance, success, opportunities... This is prosperity, this is security, this is financial freedom, this is your money growing, this is you coming into some sort of, you know, financial blessing here. See, there's storm warning. So they're trying to come in and, 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 and say some bullshit. They may say, literally, you know, I can't live without you. I miss you. I can't eat, I can't sleep without you. That's literally what they're saying in this song. I don't know which way to go without you. And of course they don't. Because now they realize when it's too late that you was an earth angel. You know. What they took for granted is now gone. And so they're literally, you know, up in their head. And with this storm warning, the divine, remember they're saying watch them. And they're also saying caution. Because they're sitting here conjuring up a plan. And I'm hearing they're, it's like a master plan. So they're like being very strategic. You know, look at this. You got carnucopia. This is you. This is what you all are doing. Secret garden. You're always secretly planting seeds. So even while this person was playing games, even if y'all was living under the same roof, y'all kept your business private. You didn't tell them when you was applying for new jobs. You may have just got the word. You got the gig. Congratulations to those who that applies to. For some of you all, you may have been working really hard. On a business and now you're about to launch that bitch and you ain't tell them shit. And when you launch, that first week of sales is going to be like, you're in the money. You're in the money. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that shit in my mind's eye, but I had to sing it for you. But this carnucopia is like a blessing from the divine. This is the 11th. 
So this is the divine intervening in your financial situation, beloveds. This is more than enough. You're going to be eating off this forever, ever. You know what I'm saying? This is like an infinite supply because it's coming from the divine. So you're being blissed. That's why you got you will be the first millionaire. Some of you all may hit the lotto. You may hit, you know, get a scratch off ticket and, and win like a million dollars, literally, from the freaking gas station. You went to go get a five dollar ticket and you scratch that bitch and be like, oh, my God. I'm serious. Like some of you all might win publishers sweepstakes. Like who knows? But this is saying that. And this person is very decept like deceitful, man. This person's like just looming in the background, watching, stalking. They're literally stalking your life. Literally just watching your every move. And it's because they can't live without you. They couldn't they didn't they couldn't live with you and they can't live without you. That's the crazy thing about it. And this is a decision they made. And so now we have Burning Spear. And this is called Old Marcus Garvey. So now we have strategy. What did I say? Somebody strategizing. This is clarifying praying on your downfall. Can't make this shit up. Strategizing a plan. And this is like... And this is not called Burning Spear. My... my Laptop. I mean, my um, iPad is glitching. This is actually called um, Virgo. And this is by Nas. So maybe some of you all are dealing with an earth sign. But this person's literally um, praying on your downfall, y'all. They're literally strategizing a plan. Like uh, That's why I was hearing a master plan. And that's why the divine is telling you to take caution and to beware, to watch them. You know, watch them. Be mindful not to fall for the okie doke. Just because somebody comes back, you know, talking about, I can't live without you. You know, I can't eat. I can't sleep without you. Don't go falling back into the trap. Your angels are leaving you clues, synchronicities. Trust your intuition. Trust your own intuition. Don't let anybody dupe you. This 21 reduces to 3. And three is that ready, set, go energy. So this person is preparing to come in. That three also deals with the solar plexus. So this is telling you to stand in your power, to be rooted in your purpose. Don't let anybody come in and mind fuck you into doing some shit that you know good and damn well does not serve your highest good. Because look what it's going to result in. Anxiety, angst, like confusion. Excuse me. It's going to be confusion, delusion, trap, entrapment is what I'm hearing. So this person is trying to get you stuck back in a trap. And that's literally what, you know, people who suffer from MPD do. You know, they will, you know, if you ghost them, they'll pop back on the grid. And then if they want to, you know, like they want to reverse psychology to get you back, you know, playing the game with them. But you are so far beyond this person emotionally, you know, because you are intelligent. You are in touch with your emotions. This person just wants to win. This person just wants to be right. They're very egotistical and proud. And they don't know right from wrong. It's like they know it, but they refuse to take accountability and responsibility. So they want to make you feel the way they feel. They want to take you off your high horse. They see you having too much fun. You too happy. You know what I'm saying? It's like something about you irritates the demons in this person. Like the demons get irritated because of your, your peace. Because of the fact that you are this beautiful earth angel. Like you're rare. You're a rare find. A rare breed. And it was just 48-48 on the clock. And that's um, 12, 12, which is 3, 3, that's 6. So they're trying to throw you off equilibrium. And this definitely is mind fuckery. You know, and if you look behind her, there's like, you know, um, lightning bolts and storm clouds. So this means that they're going to come in with some sort of, you know, communication. They could possibly try to lure you into having some sort of verbal discourse disagreement argument debate 
because that's the best thing they can do and that's how you you know they can like literally um transfer that's like energy transference you know so you could be in a high vibration and they come in with their bullshit to try to like get you to like engage in this argument and then now whatever they they're feeling remember because they're like obsessed and possessed so much that they're trying to conjure up this stupid ass plan to get you back for whatever the fuck they did how they gonna try to conjure a plan to get you back for some shit they did that's how you know they crazy <laughs> they won't even take accountability how you gonna blame the person that's like the one that got done dirty like if you don't get your crazy ass from round scorpios like this shit is like foo foo and now we got duran duran um let me see what's going on my my my, my um thing is glitching see this is what i was picking up like they they're literally trying to block the communication they're kind of trying to block your voice so i do feel like some of you scorpios either your singers some of you are writers like you you do something with your throat chakra or with a creative um with something creative or artistic like you express yourself in some form of creative or artistic way and they want to block that that's what they want to block because they don't like the fact that you a are you know maybe you are um drawing in a lot of soul family soul tribe members or you're attracting a lot of people or you're getting a lot of attention or you're getting a lot of recognition you're having some level of success they hate that shit they hate it you know and that's why i was feeling like they got a lot of like you know they're trying to get some minions they're trying to get some people to like you know like a, a hate on scorpio squad so that they can work around the clock because this motherfucker is like literally like up at night trying to strategize some stupid ass plan to bring you down and you have nothing to worry about because your your guides are telling you like look just watch this fool you know don't don't fall for the okie doke don't fall into the traps that they're setting for you you know be aware you know this is about being aware and right now we have save a prayer so the divine wants you to pray for them you got to pray for your enemies Sometimes you got to like pray for them, you know, you literally got to pray for them after you pray for yourselves, of course, you, you know, literally say no weapon formed against me shall prosper. May my enemies find peace, <laughs> you know, so they can stop focusing and obsessing over me because that's literally how I'm feeling. Look at this. They trying to they trying to transfer their negativity over to you and trying to reverse psychology mind fuck you get you back into the trap but you are not falling for the okie doke you're not they can't reach you that's why they are like growing more crazy and deranged because you you have created space <laughs> like space so why is this you will be the first millionaire in your family it is written and with save a prayer, I definitely feel like something you have prayed for, wished for, hoped for. This is like wish fulfillment. This is something that you have been working on for a while. Because with save a prayer and Duran Duran, see that? You've been very patiently waiting for this. And the divine is saying in divine timing, this wish fulfillment is coming through for you. And I feel like with this 16, that reduces this 7. So I do feel like, like you know this. It's a sense that like you know, like I'm getting high priestess vibes, like you could feel it in your bones, in your gut, that something is going to pan out when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your business, when it comes to some sort of fortune. You already know like you're not going to have to worry about money because you, you know it's your birthright. When you know it's your birthright to live in abundance, you don't live in a spirit of lack. You don't live in that. And I feel like you have been working really hard. It's like patience is a form of action. So the divine has watched you literally be very um, resilient, very um, busy. Like you kept at it. Regardless of who you had around you, trying to distract you, trying to um, discourage you off your path. You know, it's like you stayed focused, you know, kept your eyes on the prize. And in that process, you healed. In that process, you found balance. And I feel like your angels and your guides protected you because of it. 
you know and that's why I was feeling like they were giving you a lot of little nudges on your journey because it's very easy to get distracted by somebody who's coming in calculating and and, and master minding some fucking you know stupid ass plan to to take you down or to take you out or to distract you off your path like it's very easy to get distracted especially if you don't have your guard up especially if you have history with somebody especially if you still love them especially if you feel obligated in some way shape form or fashion it's easy to get distracted you know even by family and friends a friend call you in the middle of you working on something you're doing and they call you and you take the time out to aid them or assist them or to advise them and help them then they've succeeded in throwing you off your 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 path because now you're in their energy and so that's what an energy vampire is because somebody that cares about you is not going to interrupt you as you're creating you know as you're working on yourself as you're mastering your craft as we see here you're having a victory over your enemies regardless of whatever plans they're mastering or conjuring up I should say whatever whoever they're like you know um, um, whoever they're trying to um, what's that word I'm looking for what do you call it when you um, it's like they're trying to find other people to like I said to to assist them with this hate on Scorpio campaign you know so whoever this is that they are you know trying to get it's like you having a victory in all of their face this is like the breakthrough for you you have a major breakthroughs victories and they're acknowledging this and, and that's why they're upset you know, because with this save a prayer, it's like, you know, you've definitely have been praying over your protection, you know, protection. You have like a fiery wall of protection. You've definitely been doing your due diligence to ensure that, you know, none of these 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 evil entities or this this uh, these psychic attacks um, can penetrate, you know you and what you're trying to create because you got this victory here and I feel like your ancestors and your angels are absolutely like protecting you as well they're not they're not going to allow um, this demon this these demonic entities and energies these you know energy vampires and leeches to have victory over you like nah you got a victory because you've been pure hearted you've been beautiful spirited like you've been you know, like that empath, that, that loving, nurturing um, soul. And we have nothing like loving you. So, yeah, they, they realize there's nothing like loving you because you are rare. You are unique. You are uniquely you, Scorpio. You know, you are uniquely you. And that's why you're having the victory because you wasn't pretending to be something that you wasn't. You wasn't pretending, you know as this person has been pretending so why is earth angel you are my precious here for our beloved scorpios thank you daughter spirit see that so you have awakened to you know whatever your purpose is i feel like you've discovered your soul your soul's mission you know with this earth angel i feel like a lot of you all have a gift you know, your gift has a lot to do with your throat chakra. So whether you are, like I said before, uh, singers, maybe you rhyme, you know, you're hip hop artists, maybe you are poets, um, maybe you are artists, or you could be um, musicians, maybe you're healers, uh, you may help heal others, you could be, you know, anything, teachers, shamans, healers, light workers. Um, whatever this is, it's like spirit opened you up to your purpose, opened you up to what you were called to do. And I feel like this is what's leading to some sort of rebirth. I feel this person's also seeing you in your power, utilizing your skills and talents and gifts. And they're realizing that, you know, you absolutely are very spiritual, very powerful. And I feel like they listen to a lot of the things you may do like you don't realize like you know something that you do maybe you're um you know if you do have like a youtube or tiktok it's like they watch as i said they be binge watching um you know your channel and i feel like in a lot of ways um it's like they're they're kind of holding a mirror up to themselves something's activating within them you know it ain't it, it, it's not completely done but it's almost like you're holding up a mirror to this person you know but you have since like 
you've opened up this door so you're walking through it which means you you are you know leaving one circumstance and entering into something new something brand new and it may be a new love ship a new love connection you know but somebody feels like there's nothing like loving you. We got this Gabrielle. Look at that throat chakra. What did I say? So Archangel Gabrielle deals with the throat chakra. And as I said with this 39, that reduces to three. Remember, you had this three, the strategy. So when this person comes through, you know, with this whack-ass plan to try to throw you off your square, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to say this. Your body language, your energy your vibration, see my throat is getting blocked. So this person definitely knows that you are speaking your truth. You saying what you mean and meaning what you're saying. You're no longer like, you know, being passive aggressive. You're no longer addressing shit a month later, two months later, letting shit fester and then you blow up. Nah, you want to address that shit right then and there. But the divine is saying, use your words wisely. You know, because the tongue, it could be, it's literally like it could be used as a weapon or it could be used as a way to heal. So it's like the divine is almost like telling you, remember, you're an earth angel and your job, what your, you know, what your spiritual gift, what you've been awakened to do. This 32, that five, remember I said your throat chakra, your expression is your talent, your gift. You have to teach people. You know how to treat you and you have to awaken people to the truth and how do you do that by speaking the truth right now we have avant my first love so some of you all this could have been your first love some of you all you could have been with this person since high school some of you all this could have been the you know your first love and the, the father or mother to your child or children and this is why it's been difficult for you to let this individual go or for them to let you go. And why they feel this sense of obsession and obsession over you. This obsession and possession over you, excuse me. But I feel like for many of you, you've learned your boundaries. You know, regardless of, you know, the fact that you all shared those memories. It's like, you know, for some of you, I'm hearing the bad outweighs the good. You know, for many of you, when you close your eyes and you think about that connection, you don't get all tingly inside. You know, you seeing the sirens from the cop cars that was pulling up every other month. You're seeing this man's hand, you know, raised to hit you or that woman's, you know, hand raised to smack you across your face. And you had to just sit there and take it because you knew her ass was just itching for a reason to call the cops to get you locked up because that's how spiteful and hateful she was. For some of you all, you had to bite your tongue a lot. But the divine is saying, yo, this time around, use your words wisely. You know, speak your truth. Stand in your power. Stand your ground. Express yourselves. Your first love, you could love them from a distance. You know, love doesn't hurt. Remember I was saying that in the beginning. Love does not hurt. Love does not manipulate. Love does not gaslight. And that's what I feel like this person tries to use to keep you stuck. Is, you know, you my first love or they'll try to use little things, you know, to to kind of like pull on your heartstrings, like certain memories. Oh, remember that time when we went to the beach and we took those photos and it's like, motherfucker, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> you don't have anything recent, anything more current. <laughs> but it's like, yo, this is what the divine wants you all to do. Think, be the thinking woman while they're strategizing. You got to be like, okay, I'm a step ahead of that. And as you can see, there's a butterfly. So you have transformed not only, you know, personally and physically and spiritually, but the way that you think, you think different now. And you know, you can't fuck with nothing that's not on your frequency and vibration. You can't, you can't save anyone that's not trying to save themselves. You literally can't. You can't save somebody that's like, you know, projecting all the time. And not willing to take accountability or responsibility for their actions. How can they heal if they don't take accountability? That is the very first step. Being self-aware. And they just want to hold you hostage because you're their first love. Or they're your first love. Or they're your first. Or they're your child's father, child's mother. It's like, man, 
the child, the children are grown as hell, even if they're not grown, they're older. And the children deserve to see their mother or their father, whoever you are, Scorpios, that's living, listening, happy. That's what's going to break the cycle, is to see their mother, their father happy without that person. You know, you have to be happy without them because you wasn't happy with them. Be, be, be cerebral. Be logical in this moment. Don't use emotion. You know? So why is I don't fuck with you here for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? Oh, shade. Look at that. I love it. See this? You got 47. So the thinking woman. So you have to always be building. Don't be destroying. Because this person's coming in to destroy. This 47 breaks down to 11. So trust your intuition and use discernment. The divine is giving you divine downloads. The divine is giving you that divine intervention. And they're showing you the signs and synchronicity. Some of y'all might mess around and see a butterfly that flies right before your eyes. That's a sign that the divine is telling you to keep going, keep growing. Don't get distracted. Her back is turned to this past because she's grown. She's evolved. She's already walked through the door into a whole new beginning. And somebody's trying to come back trying to bring her back to who she was you've already awakened to the truth you already see things clearly there's a happy new beginning here for you this is abundance wish fulfillment happiness joy peace this is strength courage and wisdom you have Nas, and this is called done so you know you're done and you're healing you're healing thyself mind body soul the divine is giving you those divine the divine downloads you're re like replenishing your spirit your energy your vibration. This is resting, rejuvenating, resting, recuperating, resting, recalibrating. But you're also healing. And it's because you finalized, you know, a karmic circumstance. And it's done, just like Nas said. So every ending is what? A brand new beginning, as you see here. The sun is one. So you are one. And this is, remember, everybody loves the sunshine. So you are now happy. You are now more at peace. You are elated now because you've finalized the situation, karmic completion. And how did you do it? Your spirit team, your angels. You had a community, a team working behind the scenes, giving you those nudges, those hints, guiding you on this path, telling you, watch them, telling you, be cautious, telling you this person thinks that you're their property. So put your boundaries up. I feel like you're not letting anybody disturb your groove, your peace, your happiness, your joy ever again. You're very centered, centered, excuse me. And that means you're like, you're grounded. You're rooted in your own principles and truths. You're not letting anybody gaslight. You're not letting anybody dupe you, bamboozle you, play you. You're not letting that happen no more. Not on your, not on your watch. Because you've grown too much. The thinking woman is wise. She doesn't take too kindly to anybody playing with her intelligence. You know what I'm saying? You've already transformed. And those books denote you learning many lessons. Valuable lessons. And she's about to go up these stairs. Which means you've graduated. You've ascended. You've leveled up. You on to bigger and better. So why is blocka, 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 I think's not to hear for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light. And now we have large professor out all night. So that person that was out all night, you know what I'm saying? You blocked that ass. And what you did was you was out all night planting seeds and roots. You was working in your garden. Remember the secret garden. So many of y'all was, you know, pulling all nighters in the beginning. When you was really healing, a lot of y'all was studying up all night, you know, out all night, like just really in your bag, putting in that work into your business, into school. Some of y'all was studying for school, studying for exams. And now there's this sense of, you know, your blessings coming through because you're blocking out the negativity, the evil, the jealousy, the envy that's trying to, you know, block this from you. So whoever it is that you're blocking is, you know, absolutely why you're now receiving the rewards 
This person was trying to block your blessings. We got you will be the first millionaire in your family. Remember, this card showed up during the pre-shuffle and then it came out in the reading. So you all are absolutely getting rewarded and recognized by the divine himself. And this is like a congratulations. I'm very proud of the work you've put in because I've witnessed you do your due diligence. I've witnessed you absolutely heal. And you took this seriously. Like you did not fall into the traps that this person was trying to, you know, have you stuck in. And I feel like you trusted what you felt energetically. You was like, I think it's not. To. I feel like the diviners are also blocking that individual out as well. Like you're not, you know, you're not getting any of this. <laughs> that past person does not deserve it. And that could be why they trying to conjure up a way to come back because they see that you're having some level of success and expansion in your life. You know, this motherfucker was out all night long, but then they want to come in and bask in all your glory. Absolutely not. That's not how it works. If they wasn't there investing in you, investing in the home, they don't deserve it. But this is what a lot of you all had to break free from. You know, being in a comfort zone and sitting there and being, you know, safe. It's like, nah, you got to take risks. You got to jump out there and take that leap of faith and see what happens. Sometimes you got to land on your ass to know whether or not something is for you. And I feel like that's exactly what a lot of you all did. But a lot of y'all, look at this. This person had y'all trapped in an illusion. Had you trapped. This person didn't appreciate you. You were stuck in the spirit of lack. This person definitely was monopolizing and controlling the situation. We got financial constraints. So this person was definitely blocking your blessings. Because now your wish fulfillment is here. This abundance can flow to you. Because this person, this energy vampire, this Incubus succubus energy was blocking what the divine was giving you. You know, when somebody's dimming your fucking light and you don't know it, then you, you're you not going to get what's due to you until you wake the fuck up. And I, I feel like that's why the sun is here, because y'all finally was like, ah, oh, you know, aha, <laughs> aha, that's what y'all did. And look at this. You didn't even appreciate yourselves, you know? Self-love makes you more attractive. I feel like y'all was self-sabotaging. Staying in this, this old, you know, this is like a prison. This is imprisonment. Being afraid. Not we being willing to do the work. This person had you stuck and stagnant. Wearing a mask. Unhappy. And then you finally said, I'm done. They broke your heart. They definitely betrayed and deceived and did all of that. But I feel like they didn't break you because you, you finally like broke free from that situation overall because we see the changes. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on from the numerology deck. So we got here, look at this, rebirth, transformation. This is you reincarnating, growing, evolving, you know, becoming that phoenix rising from the ashes. And we got All Night Long playing by Common featuring Erica Badu. So All Night Long. So yeah, so I feel like with this financial discipline, I feel like a lot of y'all, some of y'all was putting in some overtime hours. Some of y'all was working over, you know, those, those graveyard shifts. Like I said, if you was in school, you was just working all night long. You was just really putting in a lot of time into your, you know, your craft, into your studies. With this compassion, remember I was telling you the divine is telling you to, to show this person how to be, to be better. Because remember that Archangel Gabriel showed up when I was pre-shuffling. And with this compassion, I feel like this is why, you know, blessings are coming to you. Because the divine is telling you, don't, don't judge this person. Because as we already know, hurt people will hurt people. And they will continue to hurt people until they heal themselves. So they have to do the work. And I feel like right now this person doesn't love themselves enough to know that they need healing. Because they're so busy running from the truth. They refuse to confront the issues. They refuse to do the work. Because it's too hard. Fucking healing is hard. We may make it look easy because we're constantly changing, transforming. We're constantly reinventing ourselves. 
and that's why a lot of people be really envious because we're constantly just tr we're like we're we're always doing something you know every time somebody meets a scorpio it's like they're onto something different and it's it's like it's successful it's not like they're just you know the 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 um how do you say that it's like uh um i can't remember the way you say it it's like where you do a bunch of things but you are, you're not the master of anything <laughs> Um, but that's not how we are. Well, it's like when we get our hands into something and we get our hearts and minds into something, we, we'll master that shit and, and we'll, we'll make it look easy, but it isn't. And I feel like that's why I was picking up like somebody's just like a little envious because they're watching you literally like have a lot of success. You're just, just transforming right before their eyes. And maybe it's because they never believed in you. They didn't see it in you. You know, they didn't see it in you initially and you had to show them, show and prove. So right now we got cautious uh, clay playing cold war. So now there's this cold war. And I feel like, you know, they ultimately won the battle initially, but you won the war. It was a very cold war, meaning you was feeling like not only did you feel abandoned, left out in the cold, ghosted, treated like dog shit. But I feel like a lot of y'all definitely learned that um, you didn't really have a lot of friends. You didn't really have, you know, a lot of people rooting for you. They were rooting, putting roots on you. They was really trying to, you know, they was really trying to um, invoke something negative or to to plan something really hurtful. You know, it's like they was very calculating in their actions and the way they was treating you. But I feel like you you ended this situation. And I think that with this compassion showing for, you know, preying on your downfall and strategy, I feel like because of the p compassion and love that you showed to someone, even as they were being cold and callous, calculating and hateful, I feel like that showed the divine that you graduated, that you leveled up because this 99 still reduces the nine because it becomes 18, which is nine. And nine is the highest number of change. So all of those skills and talents, all of your spiritual gifts kind of was like thrusted to the forefront. The divine saw in you what you always, it's almost like you saw within yourself what you, what your purpose was almost. It's like you awakened to that truth. And I feel like that's what led to this karmic completion, to you ending the cycle, completing the cycle. And it was very gloomy and very gray. This is a gray card. You know, and remember, everybody loves the sunshine. So I feel like this person did bring a lot of darkness into your life. And that's why there was a lot of things being blocked out, including, you know, your wish fulfillment, your happiness, love, joy, peace, growth, elevation. You know, but the moment you completed this cycle is now things are moving forward for you. We're about to clarify you will be the first millionaire in patience. And so it did take a lot of time for you to finalize the situation because for some of you all, it could have taken 10 years for you to break free from that yoke, to cut yourselves free from that karmic cord, to break those soul ties. But remember, good things take time to create. And while you were healing thyself and nurturing yourselves and loving on yourselves and practicing healthy self-care and being more self-disciplined by teaching people how to treat you, by showing self-respect, being more integral, being more, you know, um, in your power. Now you've you've cut the karmic cord. It's done. Completion. Remember, we kept seeing done, done, fin, done, done, fin. So you're done with that. So why is you will be the first millionaire in your family? Thank you. See that spiritual career? I can't make this shit up. I told you all you have awakened to your spiritual gifts during this process. That was a part of this. This was destined. It was preordained. It was meant for you to meet this person. It was meant for you to go through what you did because I feel like it awakened you to your truth. This is purple in there. So a lot of you all are psychics. A lot of you all are definitely like spiritualists. You can be a healer, a shaman, a light worker. You can be a clairvoyant, clairaudient. You could be a channeler. You could be a musician because I feel music also is, um, you know, that's, you know, like clairaudient messages. So some of you all are writers or you may be hip hop artists. You could be um, musicians where you play instruments. I feel like this, this led to you uh, rediscovering a talent, a skill, a gift. Look at this. We got Tedra Moses realized. So you realize some sort of God-given gift, talent, 
or a skill that you had. And it was something that you may have enjoyed earlier on in your life. But something sparked you. It was like you listened to your intuition that said, hey, pick up that guitar again. Hey, go in that room and get that microphone and hook it up to your computer and start singing again. Start exercising your voice again. Start writing again. Start playing that piano again. Pick up that violin that you used to play in high school again. It's like whatever it was, I feel like it's going to lead to you achieving some sort of financial blessing. Because you realize, hey, I am very talented. Hey, this is absolutely like bringing me into union with my soul tribe, my soul family. Hey, I'm actually helping people, healing people. People don't realize music is like a form of therapy. That's why you have music therapy. There's singing bowls, there's chimes, there's bells. There's all kinds of sounds. And I feel like some of you all could be doing that as well. Maybe you have a channel and you are doing like binaural beats and sounds. I'm about to do that on my on my other page. I'm going to start that in the new year. But I feel like that's what you all are doing. And this is why there was patience necessary because you had to heal. You had to heal and you also had to ground yourself. You had to transmute whatever the pain was. And you, you really invested it and channeled it into something um, that was a, a gift that the divine had um, imparted to you. That's beautiful. And this 78 reduces the 15, which is 6. So you're in harmony. And you have a deep love and passion for this. This pulls on your heartstrings. This is like, it's simplistic. You get lost in this talent. Look at this, rebirth. So you have had this major transformation. And during this transformation, I feel like now you're like sparking the minds of those around you. There's activations going on around the people around you. The ones that did you dirty. The ones that did, you know, that, that dismissed you. That didn't see your value. That lied, cheated. The people that were sitting around trying to smear campaign. You know, trying to defame your character. It's almost like now they see the light. They see the truth. That you are an earth angel. They're realizing who you are now. We got Tidra Moses singing realize. So they now realize that you are. A human being having a, you know, a, a spiritual being having a human experience. You are a spiritual being. And you are having a human experience. And you are here to help heal others. And you're doing so by your, you know, some form of expression. You're finally expressing your truth. And they're realizing this too. Because this rebirth is here. So you've transformed and came into your actual power. Which is what I was feeling. Like you've discovered your power. So this is beautiful Scorpios. Per what's this? Moderations. So the changes, the adjustments. You know, the way that you had to make those changes to get back in alignment these are both fives so not only did you have to change the way that you was thinking but you had to change the way that you was doing things initially and i feel like because these are both five five that's ten that's you ending a situation remember you're walking through this door so you're exiting one stage and phase of your life and entering into a whole new one and so this is bringing forth the change. And it's because you realized your power. It's because you discovered your power. This is orange inside of the symbol. And that orange deals with the sacral chakra. And the sacral deals with your creativity. It deals with your ability to create. Um, you know, birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking. Moving to the beat of your own drum. Some of you all started to really invest, um, you know, time into maybe just connecting more with your 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 physical bodies you know practicing healthy self-care but i feel like this this connectivity definitely is leading to a brand new beginning because this 14 and this five they both reduce to five and five and five reduce to ten and ten reduces to one so now there's this beautiful new beginning which is what i was saying here with this bird bursting through that's a rebirth you know and now we have ramp that says look into the sky. So you all are being more optimistic. You're looking at all of the possibilities. 
This is about you being really like really optimistic, really hopeful. You know that things are improving, things are getting better. It's like wish fulfillment also coming in. There's a positive change in your relationship, I feel, because this is 56 and that reduces to 11. So I feel like you're coming into alignment with your divine partner, your divine um, masculine or divine feminine. This is a spiritual union. I feel like the, to the two of you, your souls have been dancing. It's as if like you're not fucking with things that do not speak your love language. That's not on your vibration and frequency because you already know what you want. So you're not wavering in regards to what you know you deserve. And so now the divine is matching your energy and they're bringing someone who's going to love you the right way because we see here like you have this this happiness this joy and look into the sky it's as if this is wish fulfillment something that you've manifested you know the sun represents new beginnings so this is like a new beginning and this 56 reduces to two and so that two speaks to like I'm getting the vibration of like the two of cups and the fact that this is blue I feel somebody is going to communicate you know, somebody's going to express their feelings. And what she's saying is, I love you. So somebody's going to express that they love you. So right now, there could be, you know, a lot of meditating to get things straight. Maybe somebody is receiving some sort of divine downloads. Somebody could be going through their own, you know, dark night of the soul and completing a cycle. Because you know you and your divine masculine and feminine will mirror one another. And so the same experiences you're going through, the same endings and the same life changes you're experiencing, the person that is your divine feminine or masculine is also having those same experiences. And that's why it's like there's a sense that you're triggering and activating someone to, you know, finally, you know, admit, own up, confess that they love you. Somebody that is on the outs with you, I feel... Um, you know, definitely is realizing their love for you. They're having some sort of clarity on this and they're getting some sort of download. You know, it's like, if you look, it's like spirit is like, you know, there's a light shining down on their crown chakra. And so it's almost like they're becoming activated. They can no longer lie to themselves or deceive themselves. And with follow your dreams, maybe this person dreams about you a lot. They may see you as wish fulfillment, see you as a radiating, you know, radiating love and light. And with this music, I definitely feel like they could be hearing songs that remind them of you. I feel it's also telling me this song here. And this is saying, look into the sky. I will tell you why. I love you. So this person now definitely... Is realizing, you know, when you look into the sky, you see that sun, that sun shines, that sun brings truth, brings light, brings clarity, illumination, and optimism. And that's why this person is rejuvenating their energy, their spirit, purging what no longer, you know, serves them. And this is going to bring forth some sort of relationship change. Maybe somebody's finally going to walk away from a toxic relationship because this is 19. So whoever you're attracting is definitely going to, you know, leave a situation that doesn't work. What did I just say? Look at this change. So there's going to be a change. If somebody is in a relationship that you have um, manifested Scorpios, they're going to leave that relationship. And then we have um, Shaka de Moose and Pliers. And this is called Bam Bam. So this person definitely is going to like, they're going to come in and they're going to express something because that five deals with the throat chakra. And so I feel like they're going to express something to you and this is going to change something. Maybe this is someone that you're not speaking to right now, that you're not really messing with right now. Because as I said, this could be someone that you are familiar with, that you're acquainted with. This could be somebody you know. You know, like a friend, a secret admirer, but they want to change that. You know, I feel like they've been kind of like in hermit mode. 
And I feel like right here, look at this love partnership. They come in and express this. They come in and express and you're going to, this is going to evolve into a love partnership. You and this person are coming together. Why is blocker blocker? I think it's not to hear for Scorpios and the Carnicopia. Healing. See that? So you was healing. You took the time out to heal. And while you were healing, you was planting seeds. And as we all know, you know, you reap what you sow. And I feel like you was planting in good faith, you know. You was doing your due diligence. You found equilibrium emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. And I feel like that's why the divine is rewarding you, blessing you. And it's going to be like unexpected because it's going to be like, bam. This is called bam, bam. So it's spelled bam. But it's going to be like so unexpected. This is unexpected income. Remember, you will be the first millionaire in your family. So I feel like anybody that threw you off equilibrium, you blocked that ass. And you refocused yourselves on what was most important, which was, you know, your happiness. I feel like also you 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 kind of found, you know, peace and salvation in some sort of like talent that you had. It's a talent that is a means and way for you to express yourself. Like I said, it could be artistic or creative. Maybe you're using your throat chakra. But this 66 reduces to three. So I do feel like for many of you, you, you kind of like definitely took your power back. You're feeling more, um, you're feeling stronger, you know. You're not backing down anymore. You're standing up for what you believe in, as I said. You know, for this 44, remember I, I was picking up on someone being like, you know, products of their environment, dealing with, you know, um, some sort of emotional abuse or, you know, just being uh, abandoned. And, and I do feel like, you know, this 44 of environment, something was really toxic in someone's environment, you know. And with this domestic harmony, I feel like a lot of you all are going to have a very peaceful environment, a very happy environment with this new love partnership because it says domestic harmony. So this 46, 10, and then you got the 44. So every ending denotes a new beginning. What was lacking in a former situation is now coming in. What did I say about somebody being very proud? Somebody having a lot of, you know, pride and ego, just very egotistical. And I'm getting like, you know, just um, completely disillusional, like delusional, I mean. And they're going to be very, um, yeah, somebody's going to try to come in and interfere with this new beginning because you are absolutely following your dreams and you're going to go after that new relate like this person that comes in that's going to um, change your mind about love but your environment is going to improve you're going to have a lot of love happiness peace i feel like you know because this is green all green i feel like everybody is going to be like satisfied and i feel this is because your angels and ancestors are granting a wish or gifting you with some sort of miracle a blessing this is emotional fulfillment, contentment. And we got Alicia Keys playing a woman's worth. So ladies, you know your worth and value now. I feel like in the past, you was dealing with somebody who didn't know your worth. And now they see your worth. Now they see like you're worth so much more. And they took you for granted. Baby, you know I'm worth it. So let's see what we got. Look at this. Great fortune. Can't make this up. You got a lot of financial blessings coming in. I feel like this is the divine's way of saying great job, congratulations. And also for you all knowing your worth and your value and not settling, you know. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. You're going to be marrying someone and this person and you are going to literally have a lot of abundance and stability and success. Like, you got great fortune, which is your wish fulfillment, a wish being granted by the divine. And then you got this marriage. Someone sees you as the divine feminine. And they see your worth. They're going to respect you, ladies. This masculine is going to be very attentive and communicative. They're going to be emotionally intelligent. They're going to speak your love language. So if you're the type of feminine... That, you know, your love language is the touch, you know, physical touch. Or to have someone just support you, protect you. Then they're going to be just that. You know? You see how this masculine is almost like, you know, he's to the side of her, but he's behind her. So that's the type of energy. They're going to be very protective. It's almost as if, like, you know, 
They ain't gonna let you fall if they was falling themselves. And for the f masculines, this feminine that's coming in is going to be very domestic, very loving. She knows her worth and value. So she's very giving, very caring. She's also very abundant you know she knows how to make things happen so she's not just going to be looking to you to to provide and she's not going to contribute like the two of you are going to have a lot of success and stability and abundance together and i feel like the way that you treat her is the way that she's going to treat you and vice versa like the way that you all treat one another is just going to vibrate into the ethers and it's just going to bring good energy to you good vibrations to you carnucopia look at this the pathways are opening up it's like the doorway to personal healing and happiness is just wide open for you and you know this because you're very intuitive you're very psychic you're very clairvoyant you're very in tune i feel like that um high priestess energy like you're just tapped in tuned in to the energy so divine spirit. I'm going to get a couple of more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to clarify. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's go ahead. Let me get one more shuffle. Because I, unfortunately, I looked at the cards and I didn't want to do that. So there we go. There we go. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. Mature woman. You have matured, babies. You have this confirmation from the train. So you have matured. You've grown. You've evolved. You've leveled up. Thank you, spirit. So this is the number six. So this is about you being in harmony. This is also, you was too smart for the bullshit. You didn't fall for the okie doke. So whatever plans this person is strategizing, you are too smart for that shit. You're like, um, come again. Select that. <laughs> Come again. And look at this person. They're sitting there impoverished. They're in poverty because they going against the grain. They trying to come at you and you're sitting here having all of this abundance and success. So this person is receiving some sort of karma for trying to come at you. And they're surrounded by a bunch of snakes. They're around, surrounded by a, a bunch of fakes. A bunch of foo-foo energy. People that they trusted. People they may have put ahead of you, before you, abandoned you for. They have bit them in the ass. Took them for everything they got. They got got by the, the damn demon seeds that they was, uh, you know, that they was gaffled by. And now they sitting here coming back to you, mad at you because of the shit they done did to you. I mean, it's crazy just saying it. So imagine living through it. So right now we got Dead Prez Hip Hop. So like I said, some of you all could be um, hip hop artists. So look at this, the death. This is the death of this situation. I feel like with this occupation and death, it's almost like some of you all are really like, you know, you're transforming something, something's changing. I feel like the death of this relationship led to you putting more time and energy into the craft. You see how she's sewing here? And remember I was saying you reap what you sow. So you sold in good faith. So it's like the death of this relationship led you to really like put in your time and your energy into, you know, occupying, uh, I mean, into your occupation or into a business or into something, your, your, your studies. This is like, you know, you in a very studious energy. So, you know, that, that death, that ending, that connection, you know, that relationship, you know, meeting its demise is what led to you mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. And I feel like you sold in good faith. This four, this 34 is then um, reduces to seven. So it's almost as if you listen to your intuition. And remember, this seven is here. So it's like you was patient with the process. You knew that a thing, you know what I'm saying, could only distract you if you give it your attention. And you stop giving that person that was trying to, like, distract you and discourage you. You know, you stopped giving them the attention and you started to give your gifts, your talents, your interests, you know, your, your studies, your career, your occupation, your business, more of your time and energy. And, you know, you was very proactive, you know, and the divine is saying, you know, the seeds that you've planted, 
they will they will blossom and you know whatever it is that you've sown whatever seeds you've sown they will reap whatever it is that you've sown it. and look at this the divine is saying now you're having this high honor is victory remember the breakthroughs the victory showed up during the pre-shuffle so you will definitely have major victory and success over your enemies that was secretly plotting and planning and scheming and scamming and praying ultimately on you to fail you know and i feel like you knew that some of these people are hating on your talents because you are hip-hop artists and maybe you got somebody who's also a hip-hop artist and they're sitting around literally like binge listening to your music and the next thing you know you hear their songs and it's sounding just like your shit and so this person is like trying to like prey on your downfall because they're trying to steal your thunder or some shit but you're going to have victory over that somebody's literally like stealing your artistry or stealing something so you got to copyright your material some of you all that's for some of you you got to copyright and i'm hearing trademark because somebody's trying to steal something and you have a career in this obviously you got a spiritual career but somebody's trying to steal your ideas you know what i'm saying and they hate what they can't duplicate so it's like you got the real talent but if they can steal your shit then they can just skip a step you know what i'm saying it's like somebody just going through a back route they don't have no real talent but if they steal your ideas they know that that's what gives them leverage and so you got to be mindful to like protect your energy protect your peace remember watch them and caution so this person's praying on a way to like steal something from you take something from you but you're going to have the victory so you needn't worry but just make sure to like you know definitely to to be proactive in that regard that's for somebody that's a specific message so why is earth angel your um you are precious door to spirit and moderation here thank you spirit look at this unexpected income you have unexpected income beloved and 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 this is what's leading to this unexpected income is the fact that you started to you know you started to work in the field of study that you are meant to work in like it's almost like you you you're in alignment you know you're in alignment the the changes that you made has put you on your 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 path your life's path and this is bringing money that you 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 ain't even like anticipating and it's because with this this 27 this is the positive change this is this is what's coming by you living your truth you know by you like walking your path and look at this mature man not only do you have this unexpected income this wish fulfillment remember what i said like some of y'all could flat out live a lot win a lotto ticket you know win millions or some shit get an unexpected pay increase or a bonus from your job and you like damn it's just in time for the freaking holy days and you could go get them gifts or get you whatever it is that you needed. But you got this mature man and then you have a mature woman, remember? So you are attracting somebody somebody that's on your vibration. This is a like mind, A alike, B alike. This is somebody that speaks your love language. And I feel like that was the positive change. This is what's bringing a lot of happiness. This person right now is working on themselves. The same way you're working on yourself, they're in a state of like healing, you know? And we have right now by Kendrick Lamar, it's called These Walls. So I do feel like this person may have their walls up. They may feel like your walls are up because we got this I don't fuck with you. So maybe like I said, you know, there's a sense that you're giving off that energy. Maybe you're coming off real Queen of Swordish, you know. Maybe you're coming off like you, you're more um, cerebral. You're disconnected because, you know, you just came out of this fuckery here. So you're more like defensive you know and so maybe this person's just kind of watching from a distance but they like what they see you know and they could be at a distance they could like be in their head like imagining trips you know this is the number five so they will reach out and communicate and express something remember that change and the number five i feel like the communication is going to change everything and it's going to bring happiness and I feel like with this thinking woman, that's what the divine is telling you. Trust your intuition, you know. Trust what you feel, you know, energetically, intuitively. Definitely go with the flow. This 47 is speaking to, like, divine downloads, interventions. You know, you're receiving a lot of, um, and sh you know, a lot of um, 
transmissions of some sort. But you have to trust it. But somebody will be communicating because we see here with these walls. So I feel like the, the walls between the two of you are going to come down. I'm hearing tumble down. They're going to tumble down. They're going to tumble. So why is I don't fuck with you, the thinking woman, the sun, rest and rejuvenate and change here for Scorpios? Why is I don't fuck with you, the thinking woman, the sun, rest and rejuvenate? Look at this. I cannot make this shit up. This person sees you as the divine feminine. This is the privileged lady. The divine feminine literally embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens. You are the empress. They see you as the empress. You are the only one. You're like the divine feminine, divine masculine. This person has awakened to this truth. They daydream about you, think about you. They're changing themselves for you. They're going through the necessary changes for you. And they will express how they feel about you. And if you are a masculine, this is what this feminine is about to do. And if you are a masculine who is in a same sex, same thing. But somebody is definitely seeing this connection as one that they wish to pursue. You know, and they're just trying to think of how to do so. So that's why they're in this meditative state. You know, this is like meditate to get it straight. This is like meditate, contemplate, you know. But then they're like, they have that aha. You know what I'm saying? They have that aha moment and it's because they took the time to do their due diligence to perhaps study you know and study by means of kind of watching you privately from the background you know secret admirer status but you are the divine feminine master manifester very powerful knows her worth her value very domestic loves to look beautiful you're very attractive you dress nice you you know you're very unique and rare it's like you turn heads it's like when you walk in the room, you shift the motherfucking energy in that bitch. It's like this is what they see. And this is what they see when they close their eyes at night. They, they envision this. It's like they rerun this in their mind. And they're going to have to give somebody a, a message. Remember I was picking up somebody was in a partnership. And they're going through an ending. Because this is the number 19, which is 10. So somebody's like healing from an ending. They had to give somebody their walking papers. They had to give somebody, you know, that, that dear Jill letter, that dear John letter. Like, look, uh, it's changing. I, I, my feelings have changed. I've come into the realization. I've had this epiphany that I don't love you, that this relationship doesn't cut it for me, that I'm going after my Scorpio because that's my divine feminine. That's the yang to my yin, the yin to my yang. That's who speaks my love language. And we got outcasts, so fresh and so clean. This person right here is going to feel outcasted from this connection because they felt like they were in this partnership, but they knew all along like there was a lack of intimacy. The connection was just growing further and further apart. They weren't doing shit together. It was just becoming too routine. But now they're getting a message of concern. Somebody's receiving a message of concern. And it's like, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not happy. You know, so that something's changing. So why is blocker, blocker, blocker? I think Sonata and Carnocopia in healing here for our beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. Divine spirit of love and light. Why is blocker, 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 Carnocopia and healing here? Thank you. See that? Bad health. So now somebody is going to be pulling the, you know, I don't feel too well. You know, remember you had somebody trying to be like very calculating. But this person could really be a little crazy deranged but somebody's a little sick they sick over you but i feel like their healing is necessary maybe you all you know your wise words can help heal someone i want to get a dif additional message i feel somebody's really feeling um what i'm feeling is they're heartbroken because this 31 is like the number four which is the fourth chakra which is your heart chakra somebody's heartbroken because you blocked that ass you blocked their toxic shit you know, and, and they could try to dupe you into like, you know, falling for the okie doke because they know you have such a loving, nurturing, caring heart. You know, and remember the divine said, watch them, caution, because they're praying on your downfall and they're being strategic. But I feel like with this healing energy, uh, maybe the divine is just telling you to remember compassion and then we have healing. So show compassion for someone. We got the gift. So you're absolutely receiving the gift. This person's heartbroken because you're receiving your blessings. The blessings they was blocking, you're receiving them. And this is what's causing them to be sick. They're heartbroken and they're sick. 
They think that, that, that there's the sick way in which they was treating you is called love. And it isn't. Look at that. It came back out. Look at that. It came out, man. This is beautiful. Y'all got carnucopia and a blessing here. Why? Because you've healed, beloveds. This is for the Scorpios who have been doing the work, who's really been healing, cutting off people, places, and things that have not been serving them. Even the ones closest to you, it's like the ones that you would never think. It's like you had to cut that shit off. And a lot of you have taken the time to get to know yourselves, taken the time to get to, you know, discovering what you enjoy, what you like. And now the divine is giving you wish fulfillment. That's 17. That's the gift. That's the wish fulfillment. Along with this carnucopia, along with you will be the first millionaire in your family. Like, stop playing with me. You all are coming into opulence, expansion. There's things happening in your life that you can't even imagine. And I feel like not only do you have this, you know, the material blessings, but you also have love coming in because this privileged lady is absolutely uh, a master manifester. So she's attracting not only you know, uh, you know, material things, as I said, but love, you know, somebody may come back, you know, reuniting with you and expressing to you that they love you, expressing to you how they feel about you. And we got Mace looking at me. So this person is a secret admirer. They are watching you. They are keeping tabs on you and they are trying to figure out and strategize a way to come in. That's why the thinking woman is here. And I feel like you could pick up on that. Your spidey senses are tingling like a motherfucker and it's almost like that's why she's looking directly at the person cuz it's almost like you're anticipating it. You know, it's like you're expecting it. And this is going to transform your life, but it's also going to bring a lot of love and happiness, joy. And I feel like you're you you got a lot of money. You also had this card. I forgot about that. And it's rooted in something that you do. So whatever you do in terms of your career, your business, it's like this is going to blow up. I feel like you also have something unexpected coming in. You know, this unexpected money coming in. Remember, don't 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 fall for the okie doke with this past person. Because this person, remember, I, um, without you, I can't live without you. So this could be you being the caring, nurturing person trying to help them through this shit. But all they trying to do is lure you back in. You know, trying to play on your heartstrings. What's on the bottom of the deck is you got false person. So this person, I feel, with looking at me playing by mace, they're definitely watching you. And that's why they're praying on your downfall. Because they're watching you come into the spiritual union, this divine union, this beautiful connection. And so they're trying to come in and break that shit up. And that's why they're going to sit here and play and pretend like they so sick, they so hurt. You know, that they need all this healing when all they're doing is calculating. So you got to remain on your square Scorpios. Yep, this is somebody. Look at that. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. So this person is trying to break up something, you know, like, like your happy home. And they're trying to steal something from you. You got the thief. You got false person and then the home or house, family home. So this is definitely people that you, you know, that you know. And they're trying to set you up. Maybe to rob you, maybe to steal from you. You know, maybe they've already done this in the past, which is why they are part of your motherfucking past. But I definitely feel like you got some folks who's still in the energy. And that's why the divine was giving you the caution. Like, look, you know what I'm saying? But you have blocked these individuals and they are very upset. I'm hearing pissed. They're pissed off about it. Because you're still winning, Scorpios. You're still growing. You're still glowing. And ultimately, you blowing the fuck up. And they mad about that. And that's why they over here watching you. Because you like, why you, you know what I'm saying? Why you looking at me? <laughs> I ain't thinking about your ass. Why you studying me? But this is beautiful, Scorpios. I'm going to end it there. It has been a long one. Um, I do appreciate you tuning and tapping in. If you found that the messages resonated with you, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. And if you are new, I hope you stay a while. Okay? But congratulations to the winners. Mikael Tuhudi Ra. Congratulations. Um, oh, man. I forgot the other young lady. But congratulations to you all. Um, thank you to the following. I want to say thank you to these two young ladies who blessed me with... Uh, cash out gifts you are so appreciated um you did not have to do that so i do appreciate it um to vanetta burns thank you my soul sister and to barbara a bear 
I appreciate you two beautiful souls. May the universe return that beautiful gesture right on back to you a hundredfold. <laughs> but thank you all for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.